or the E in B. E. If you want to improve your voice, chances are you've looked for warm-ups online, but it can feel like a waste of time. It's difficult to know which warm-ups are effective and which are right for your voice. So in this video, I'm sharing the three best vocal warm-ups, warm-ups I know will help you no matter what your experience level is. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. It'll really help us out. I'm Camille Fundicat, a singer and instructor with 30 Day Singer, and these are exercises I use with brand new beginners to very advanced singers. The first and best warm up is an SOVT, which stands for Semi Occluded Vocal Tract Exercise. The most famous is probably the lip trill or lip bubble. <laughs> and I do love the lip trill, but it's not the only SOVT, and many beginners struggle with it. Semi-occluded means partially closed, and your vocal tract is just your throat above your vocal folds and your mouth, the area in which your sound wave travels and vibrates before leaving your body. So any exercise with partial closure counts. A sustained V, V, Z, Z, M, M, N, 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 G, N, even a B sound, N, and one of the best studied exercises, singing through a straw. You can start with a regular sized drinking straw, submerge it in a cup of water, and make some noise. If you're making sound and bubbles at the same time, you're doing it right. These types of warm-ups work so well because they're gentle, they encourage good chord closure, breath flow, and resonance without much effort on your part, and they're helpful in all parts of your vocal range. Try out those sounds I demonstrated before, including straw singing, and see which feels easiest to you. The great thing is, you could slide around without defining pitches. <laughs> You can sing a warm-up pattern along with a warm-up video. And you can even sing the melody of a song. Speaking of slides, that's my next warm-up for you. Slides or sirens. It's exactly what you think it is, just sliding from one pitch to another. Ooh. And why are these helpful? Like SOVTs, they help with coordination and register blending. It's especially helpful if you slide from low to high on a narrow vowel like the OO in shoe, OO, or the E in B, E. Unlike a big open AH sound, these narrower vowels make it easier to sing high without shouting or straining. Try just a few of these with me on a 181 pattern. It sounds like this. Low voices, you'll be one octave lower. All right, let's give this a try. Sliding as much as possible on O or E. Ready and sing. My third best warm up is actually a vowel, and the consonants are up to you. The vowel is a uh, as in one or bug. The word one is actually a great warm up syllable, but you could use consonants with sounds like m, mum, or b, bub, or leave it open on the end, n. The pattern and intensity you sing with will depend on your goal. However, you really can't go wrong with the uh sound. The uh sound is made with nice relaxed space in both your mouth and throat, which makes it perfect for register blending, developing mix, and training a beautiful tone. Let's try a few on this pattern, singing the word one, 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 one. Low voices, you can be one octave lower. Try a few with me. Here you go. One, one, one. One, 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 
one 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 keep going few more last one come down Of course, there are endless variations to vocal warm-ups, and it's really exciting to find one that works well for your voice. I encourage you to share any warm-ups you found especially helpful in the comments, and I can assure you that you'll benefit from SOVTs, sirens, and the uh sound for the rest of your singing journey. What would you like to see more of? Let us know in the comments. Visit 30daysinger.com for easy step-by-step -step singing lessons.